pleasant day everyone! It's a great day today to learn and enjoy at the same time. I am Ma'am Jack and I will be your teacher in TLE 7. Welcome to another session of virtual discussion via Valenzuela Live! Before we start, prepare your pen and learning packets together with your open ears and focused mind. Let us all be lively in today's discussion. Look! My friends are looking for help. They lost their group. Can you help them regroup their, their selves according to the type of shapes they belong? By the way, do you remember the two types of shapes? If you do, comment your answer on the comment box below. I will give you five seconds to answer. And your timer starts now. Geometric shapes and organic shapes. That is correct. Geometric shape is also known as regular shapes because they could be easily recognized. While organic shapes also known as free-form shapes because these shapes seem to follow no rules. Now, let's start the grouping, my friends. Please comment below your answer. What do you think is the group of Terry Triangle? Geometric shape? Perfect! How about Flory Flower? Organic shape? Perfect. Rubber ribbon is also lost. Where do you think he belongs? Organic shape. That is correct. Mr. Square is also looking what type of shape he belongs. Can you help him? Did you say geometric shape? That is correct. There's still a lot of my friends who are lost. Let's continue looking for their group. Sassy Circle, do you know where you belong? Gina says, Geometric shapes, and that is right. Loria Leaf belongs to organic shape. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. The footprint also lost its shape type. Can you locate his group? Organic shape is the right answer. Very good. A few friends are still lost. And it is now time for Ivo Oblong to find his group. What is his group? You are correct, Zian. Geometric shape. Hey, Tommy Tree still needs our help. Let's help him. Which group does Tommy Tree belong? He belongs to organic shape. Nice job. And last, but not the least, is Lexa Hexagon. Can you locate her group? Great! It's geometric shape. All my friends are happy now because they are on the right shape type. They belong. Once again, the two types of shapes are geometric shape and organic shape. Under geometric shape is circle, hexagon, triangle, square, and oblong, and all the regular shapes, while organic shapes include footprint, tree, flower, 
left and ribbon and things which are typically not man-made. Since my friends are all set, are all set, let us now move on to our new discussion. Let's play four picks, one word. We only have two words to guess. Each has four pictures linked by one word. You need to work out what the word is. Some of the letters are already given. What is the word? I will give you 10 seconds to find the answer. The correct answer is measury. Very good. Remember this word. Based on the pictures, what is the next word? If your answer is instruments, then you got it right. Again, what are the two words we found in four picks, one word? It is measuring and instruments. And now, our topic for today is about select measuring instruments. And our learning targets are one. Identify measuring tools based on job requirements. Two, appreciate the importance of selecting correct measuring tools. And last, is select measuring tools based on job requirements. What is measuring tools? Measuring tools are used for the purpose of measuring dimensions, implementing any work with precision. Measuring tools are also used largely for carrying out different types of measurements. It can also be used to create geometric shapes. The following are measuring tools that can create geometric shapes. These are ruler, the most popular type of measuring tool. It is usually 6 or 12 inches in length and needed for measuring sizes and distances. Triangles. It is a three-sided ruler which typically has two equal sides meeting at a 90 degree angle and to a third side at 45, 30, including 60 degree angles. It is usually made of plastic and comes in a different sizes. If in use, the base of the triangle must rest on the blade of the T-square. Drawing a line always starts from the point near the base going upward. Triangular scale. Used in general drawing. Main purpose is to reproduce the dimension in full size or to reduce or enlarge them on a drawing. Scales help the drafter keep the proportions accurate. Here are the steps in using triangular scale. A. Place the edge of the scale parallel to the line being measured. B. Face the edge of the scale that you're reading toward your non-dominant side, if it's oriented vertically, or away from you, if it's oriented horizontally. This helps keep you from casting shadows on the relevant face of the scale as you work. Letter C, make light marks to indicate the distance you're measuring or drawing out as measured by the scale. Letter D, adjust dividers with the scale by making a pencil line as long as the divider should be wide, using the scale as a guide. Then, Adjust the dividers by orienting points on the ends of the pencil line. Adjusting the dividers by placing the points directly on the scale might meet the surface of the scale, making it hard to read. To have an idea on how to use triangular
triangular scale, please watch this video here. Focus muna tayo dito. 1 is to 100. Kung makikita nyo guys, uh, 0 hanggang 30 siya. So yung 1, yan yung 1 meter. Sa metros, uh, yan yung 100. Tapos, yung sa gitna niya, ito, yan yung 500. Sa scale, 0.5. Bali guys, yung 1 meter, mayroon siyang 10 guhet, kada isang guhet, 10. Uh, ito yan, 10. Bali kung 10 guhet yun, times 10 mo lang, bali 100. Bali 100. Bali 1 meter, ang katumbas niya ay isang daan, 2 meters. Katumbas niya, dalawang daan sa metros. So, gagawa tayo ng property line. Uh, yung size niya is 10 by 10 meters. So, itodrop natin siya para makita ninyo yung difference ng 1 to 100, 1 to 50, and 1 to 500. So, let's start. Guys, uh, tapos ko na silang ma-drop. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, uh, kanina, sa scale ko, wala akong pinanggit na 1 to 50 dito. Pero paano ako nakapag-drop ng 1 to 50? Ito yung pinaka-malupit na sikreto ng scale. Punta kayo dun sa 1 is to 500. Alisin nyo lang yung 0. Tapos, yung mga nakikita nyo, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Alisin nyo lang yung 0. Bali, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Bali 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters, 5 meters, hanggang 10 So, titignan natin dito uh, Lahat ng din rough natin na property line is 10 by 10 So, para parehas lang sila ng sumpat I hope you guys enjoy and learn at the same time from that video Next tool is Retractor a protractor is a transparent plastic tool designed to measure angles. They are usually semicircular but also are available in a full circle 360 degree version. Compass Compass used to draw circles, arcs, radii, and many parts of a symbol. These are the steps in using a compass. Letter A, place the point of the compass at the center point of the circle you intend to draw. If you're drawing an arc, imagine that the arc extends all the way around into a circle and place the point of the compass at the center of that imaginary circle. Letter B, adjust the leaded end of the compass so that it touches where you'd like the edge of the arc. Or circle to be. If you're drawing an arc at a specific distance from the center point, make a line of the desired distance. Adjust the point and lead the end of the compass against the ends of that line. Then, place the point of the compass back at the center point of your circle or arc. Letter C, grasp the middle of the compass between your thumb and fingers. Twist your fingers, applying light downward pressure.
future and the compass to mark. This video clip will teach you how to use compass. Enjoy watching! That's how I would draw mine. And I put pressure, I'm holding the handle at the top, but I'm putting pressure on the point and I'm turning the pencil around. But for those of you that are new to this, I would hold the point of the handle or the point down and bring my pencil around. And actually, by just holding the point down, I can just turn my paper. And there I have drawn two circles. Do not hold the compass by both legs because if you do what happens is it starts to close and then you're going to get an uneven circle. So always hold the leg that has the point or the handle part there. You do not need to hold this part. And if I just demonstrate one more time, for those of you that are new to this, hold your point leg and turn your paper. And once you get more Once again, these are the measuring tools that can create geometric shapes. Ruler, triangles, triangular scale, protractor, and compass. To test your understanding about this topic, get your notebook and answer this activity. Directions match the description in column A with its corresponding measuring tools in column B. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper or notebook. I will give you two minutes to answer and your timer starts now. A measuring tool is used to lay out an angle or an arc. The answer is letter F, and that is protractor. Number two, it is the most popular type of measuring tools, usually 6 or 12 inches in length. The answer is letter E, ruler. Number three, its main purpose is to reproduce, reduce, or enlarge the dimension or size on a drawing. The answer is letter D, triangular scale. Number four, it is used for drawing vertical and oblique lines. The answer is letter A, triangle. And number five, it provides an easy means for accurate measuring 
carved surfaces? The answer is letter B, tape ruler. Give the answer for 5. If you got 5 over 5, please react hard. If you are 4 over 5, comment smiley and thumbs up to score 3 and below. Great job everyone, you're all awesome. Remember, good workmanship is associated with the use of quality hand tools. Maintaining effective, effective use of drafting tools in the production of quality projects are the concern of every craftsman. A good tool is a lifelong investment and the craftsman's best friend. Treat it as such and you'll be repaid a thousand times through the result you will obtain from its use. To watch the full video on how to use triangular scale and compass, you can watch it on YouTube through this link. For your assignments, answer the following. What I know, what's more, and what I have learned. On your week 5 TLE module. That's all for today. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have clarification and queries about our discussion, you can ask your subject teachers during your follow-up discussion. Bye for now everyone. See you on our next Valenzuela Live. Thank you for listening. This is Ma'am Jackie signing off.